how do we know how much the sun weighs and who figured it out first? Well, that honor goes to none other than Isaac Newton. Yeah, that same Newton with the apple falling on his head F equals MA guy. Now, you can't exactly put the sun on a cosmic scale, but what you can measure is how strongly it pulls on other things like planets. That's gravity. Newton had this clever idea. If you know how fast a planet moves around the sun and how far away it is, you can work backwards to figure out how massive the sun must be to keep that planet in orbit. So he used Venus as his test case because it's close enough to the sun and its orbit was well observed even back in the 1600s. He figured out how hard the sun was pulling on Venus and then compared that pull to the gravitational strength of other planets like Jupiter and Saturn using their moons as reference points. Basically, he made the first ever solar system weight chart, comparing how heavy the sun, Jupiter, Saturn and Earth are relative to each other. And his results were pretty impressive for 1600s maths. He calculated that the sun was about 170,000 times heavier heavier than Earth, which, okay, is a bit off because the real answer is about 330,000 times, but he nailed Jupiter's mass almost exactly within a few percent of what we know today. Not bad for someone with no computers and definitely no calculators. Now, you might be wondering, because I certainly did when I was reading about this, why was Newton bang on with Jupiter, but less so with Earth? This is largely attributed to two reasons. First was his estimation of how far Earth was with the sun. He was about 20% off of that number. And second, Newton had made an error in copying his work for each new edition of his Principia. But there you go. Now you know the answer to the question, 